Attack of the Mutants, an out-of-print game by Uquinto Games, offers a simple format to engage humans and their Janabots against an invasion by mutants in classic B-movie style. The game is balanced between the outnumbered but strong human contingent against the more numerous but less powerful mutants. However, the game does have optional rules to alter the balance and change how the game is played. There are three additional wall sections that may be used by the human player to help them in warding off the mutants. From the standard setup of 12 walls, you may add one, two, or three additional walls to the game. To help the mutant player, lower all hit numbers on Janabots to two. If the mutants have three times the number of units compared to the human player, including Janabots, at the start of any round, the mutant player may subtract one from any die roll. For example, if a three was rolled, that could be changed to two. If the human player has two times as many units as the mutant player at the start of any round, they may subtract one from any die roll. While not in the spirit of B-movies, there are those who prefer not to be ripped to shreds by angry, frightening mutants, or for the mutants to be ripped to shreds by powerful Janabots. The bugging out option allows for the inner coward to run away from impending danger. Bugging out must be employed with the overwhelming odds optional rule. When one side gains the die roll modification as per the overwhelming odds rule, the other side may retreat from the room under the following conditions. Janabots may only retreat if accompanied by a human, and Janabots may not enter the tech room. Humans may not retreat from the tech room prior to turn 5. Mutants may only retreat through a smashed door. Units may not retreat into rooms containing units from the other side. You may choose to pursue the retreating units with an equal number of your own units following the restrictions that have been listed. Retreat and pursuit movement have no effect on the subsequent movement phases. By using the reduced game board card, you can engage in hidden movement. Create copies of the reduced game board, give to each player, and secretly mark the location of all the Janabot, human, and wall locations for the human player. For the mutant player, mark the setup locations for their characters. Wall units should not be revealed to the mutant player until a mutant unit or units enter a room which contains them. If a mutant player successfully smashes a door, the human player must tell the mutant player if their units are present inside the room but they do not have to reveal how many units are inside that room or what type they are. Only when the mutant unit or units enter a room do all human units within that room are revealed. If there are any human units remaining after the mutants have left the room, their units are removed from the game board and their location on the reduced game board is noted. When mutants enter any interior room, the human player is notified to their presence, but not to their numbers or type. Only when the human player's units enter a room will the mutant player reveal the number and type of units that they have. And that is how the optional rules in Attack of the Mutants work. Thank you for watching. Check out our other videos on the Seek Out and Play YouTube channel. Plus, you can keep up with the latest news by visiting our Facebook and Twitter pages. And if you want to support the channel, we have a link to our Patreon page below. And I will see you next Wednesday.